Okay, how's it going everyone? So I'm going to show you how to uncap your FPS in World of Tanks. Now, I searched literally everywhere all over the internet to try and find this. And it took me a good two days to find out how to do this. So I just thought I'd make a video and then it can be helpful for everyone that is trying to do this. Um, it's most useful if you've got a very high refresh rate monitor, uh, such as something that goes over 120 uh, hertz. So if you've got 144 or 180 hertz, um, this is going to be perfect for you because you can uncap it and set it as your monitor's refresh rate. Or if you're just a player that likes to have more FPS in game, uh, like I do, uh, then this is perfect. Uh, so what you want to do first is download this um, whattools.exe. I've got a um, download in the description, so it's nice and easy for you to do it. Don't worry, I've already scanned this. This is um, completely virus free. I don't. I literally wouldn't use anything that's got a virus on my computer. So just double click it, and it asks you to run. Uh, and then once you once you come to here, uh, you'll see a nice blank box. Uh, click open file, and now you want to locate where you where you installed World of Tanks. Uh, so for me, it's in the C drive, then games, then World of Tanks, and then you want to go into your res folder, not resmos, just res. And then you'll find the engine uh, underscore config .xml file. Uh, by default, uh, World of Tanks does not allow you to edit this, as it's a packed XML file. Uh, so what this program does is unpacks the uh, the XML file and allows you to paste it in into here again and then you can edit from that. Uh, so once you've uh, selected it like here, you just click open and as you can see you can edit in here. Uh, but it's a bit uh, dodgy, don't edit it in this. You can but it's, it doesn't work. What you want to do is click save as and then paste it back in here. Now before you paste it, I would strongly recommend that you back up your current engine uh, underscore config uh, so just select that and then do control C and then control V and it'll be pasted onto your desktop now I'm not going to save it again because I've already done it so there's literally no reason for me to do it um, but make sure you've backed up that um, first of all now once you've done that go in, into your actual World of Tanks folder and as you can see you'll, you'll still see it there double click it uh, if you've got notepad plus plus that's fine but if you've got normal notepad it's exactly the same uh, then down here you want to do control F as you can see it's here but uh, just do max frame and then it will come up here just in case uh, for some people it's further down or whatnot uh, but just set this by default this will be set to 120 and this will be set to 60 uh, reduced frame rate is basically in the garage and all of that so just set this to 999 or your uh, refresh rate on your monitor um, I personally have a 144Hz monitor, but I just prefer a lot more FPS in game. Uh, it just makes aiming a bit easier for me. It's just down to personal preference. Uh, but yeah, once you've done that, you want to just click save, and then you can X out of that. Load up World of Tanks, and you'll have over uh, 200 or however much FPS you um, you said that you wanted to have in game. Uh, just to show you, I'll go into the game and I'll show you now. Okay, so straight away you'll be able to feel the FPS uh, improvement in the garage um, if you've got a high refresh rate monitor. Uh, if not, then you probably won't feel uh, the difference, but or you probably won't see the difference. Uh, better for saying that, uh, but you will be able to feel it. It's a lot more smoother, like just moving the tank around and etc. Uh, I just set my graphics to lowest just because I want more FPS. So yeah, uh, let's just go into the game and show you quickly. As you can see in the top left, uh, we're going way over the um, FPS limit that was on there before. Uh, we're now at 230, it's fluctuating between 210 230. So, as you can see, it has worked. Um, so, yeah, it's just a lot better if you've got high refresh rate monitors. Uh, that's why I've done mine. And I needed to make this video because I searched for two days trying to find and work out how to do this. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you did enjoy this video and consider subscribing if you did and yeah see you in the next one